Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on a MacBook Pro. So my version of this is A2159. It has a touch bar on the top here as you can see. And my LCD screen is bad. You can see that the line here, if I press it on the top right corner, you can see that the there's no display so there was an impact point on the top right corner and eventually my computer would just has pixelated and fuzzy colors lines all across the LCD screen so I'll be doing a screen replacement on this and I'll walk you through step by step on how to do that so the first thing you want to do is double check make sure you have the same model as I do is A2159 The next step is to get yourself a Pentelope P5 screwdriver. Once we have removed all the screws, there are four screws at the bottom. There are shorter screws and the two screws on the top are much longer. Once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a metal prying tool. Right here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go in between the back plate and the base of the computer. So I'm just trying to go in between that. And then the next thing is to pop it open. So what happened is that there's a clipper here on the side. So there's no screw here to screw it down on the side. So they use a clipper. You need to put some pressure and pop it open. Try to do the same on the other side. There's one more clipper right here. As you can see, it clicks and it pops open. Now once you have done all that, you can slide the back plate down towards the body. So slide it down and that's how you remove it. So this is the thing that slides in and out. Then you need to slide it down. Once you have, oh, I'll show you the two side clipper right here. All right, once you have done with that process, the next step is to disconnect the battery. You need to peel off this plastic cover, put it on the side, get a plastic prying tube, peel back that plastic cover right there, and you can see this connector right here, the black connector. In the black connector, you need to flip open that little clipper. So when the clipper is open, it's 90 degree angle. Take a closer look here. That is the black clipper I'm talking about. Okay, and now you can slide the flex cable to your left to remove it. The next step is to get yourself a T4, a torque 4 screwdriver. Remove that screw here. And now the computer is disconnect from the battery. Okay, the next step we're going to work on using a T4 screwdriver is to start removing the screws here at the bottom. So I remove the two screws, one and two. Make sure the screws, when you remove them, you align them properly so that you know where they're going to go back after because all the screws are different sizes you do not want to mix match the screw so make sure you want to do is maybe this is going to be helpful for you is to take a picture right before you remove the screws print it out on a piece of paper as you remove the screws you can lay, lay it down on that piece of paper that you took a picture of so that you can follow along where the screw is gonna go when you have the uh, when you when you start installing them afterwards. All right, using the same T4 again, I'll be removing the screws here. 
one, two, three, and four. These four screws are holding down to the LCD board, meaning that the screen has a LCD board and that four screws are holding down to that board. All right, once you have removed all the four screws, Now the next step is to remove this two screw here with the bracket and that is to connect the, the LCD cable to the board. Okay, using a T4, for some reason I'm ripping off the screws now. Hmm. Remove the two screws, remove the bracket, get a plastic prying tool, disconnect that LCD cable. Alright, now the thing is free and loose and ready to go. T4, disconnect this screw here. This one screw is holding down the Wi-Fi connector. And there are two cables, you just have to lift it up, straight up, to pop it up open. All right, again, T4. I'll be removing the two screws here on both sides, left and right. These two screws are holding down the hinge and this is the bracket that holds it down. So remove the two screw and the bracket. Once you have done with that process, this is a Pentalope P2, 0 0.8, a very tiny screw driver. We are removing all this tiny screw that is holding down the Wi-Fi antenna. So we got to remove all of that. The screws are really tiny, so be patient when you remove them. Take your time, do not rush, especially do not strip the screws. And you really need to have the right screwdriver for this purpose. I think I missed one of the screws. Hopefully I'll find it later on. All right, so once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to uh, disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna. You just simply have to lift it up. Pay attention to the wire right here. The two wire is actually, you know, went in between that little hole here. So when you slide, you gotta slide it out that direction, all right? What happened to the tiny little screw? Oh, right here. It dropped. Okay, once you are done with all that process, get yourself a T8. You're going to remove the three screws holding down the hinge. Remove that. Remove on the other side. Mm. 
once you have done that process what you want to do is to go ahead and open up the screen so I'm opening up the screen and this is more than 90 degree angle so slide it out and the other one just slide it out and there you go the entire screen will just come right off all right so that is the broken screen we just removed it assuming the new screen just came in all right i do not have the new screen i need to get one um, but what i'll do is i'll link them in the description below so make sure you check the description uh, down below where it will direct you to amazon or ebay where you can buy the tools that you need right as well as the replacement screen so i'll link them down below go ahead and check it out assuming this is the new screen that just came in brand new ready to install i do not have it just letting you know um, first thing you want to do is to turn um, open up the hinge at more than 90 degree angle so flip it back on both sides make sure that the lcd board right the cable is sitting above the laptop so you want to flip them up so that you can make sure they're going on top of the laptop at the same time you want to make sure the hinge is open and slide it in okay same thing on the other process slide it in now once you have the screen slide in and pretty much the screen just wobble like that okay what you want to do is double check make sure the cables are sitting on top of it right make sure all the two cables are not clip or anything make sure they're sitting up free and clear now the next step is to go ahead and put one screw your t8 screw on the on the hinge because we need to close the screen in order to work so, right so put that one screw in here first second screw on the other side all right put it in and then close the screen down all right so once you have closed the screen now you can come back and finish up the rest of the other screw I'm not going to do that because no sense for putting the screen back in no sense for me putting the broken screen back in together and take it apart when the new screen comes in I'm just going to explain it to you here so make sure you have all the screws back onto that hinge alright now the next step is your Wi-Fi antenna make sure the two cable you're going to slide into that hole right there so a tiny little hole make sure you slide it in okay slide it in that direction okay and there you have it so the flex cable will be sitting on top the Wi-Fi antenna the two of the flex cable all right now you want to come back remember the two plastic hinges and you can go ahead and install them put the two screws back in okay the next step is to get yourself a Pentola P2 which is the 0 0.8 millimeter install all that tiny little screw that was here okay all that screw onto the Wi-Fi antennas once you have done that process the next step is to have the four screws remember the four screws holding down the LCD board four of them one two three and four reconnect the LCD cable reconnect back in bracket two screws now here you want to flip it back so this little plastic you're going to flip it back and then tug it in flip it in and tuck in flip in tuck in okay flip flip back and tug it in 
one, two. Bracket, bra bracket, two screws, one, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws at the bottom. This one here has the bracket and two screws. And do not forget there's one screw right here. That is for your Wi-Fi. And what you want to do is you want to align the Wi-Fi connector and put it back in. The Wi-Fi connector just like Lego. The, the, the little circle on the board is smaller. The connector is bigger. So make sure you align on top of each other and then press it down. No force it down. The key, the important key here is to align the circle on top of each other. So that is the critical steps. Once you have done the process and you just put a little, little pressure, a little push and the connector would go back in. If you're going to force it down, if you're going to press it hard, you're going to damage that circle. Okay, simple as that. Once you have done that process, put the screws back in here secure the battery and the cable by sliding it in make sure the connector is open at 90 degree angle slide the cable to your right slide it in and then press it down to close that connector once you have done that all process the next step is to get the back plate installed the back plate would have to slide it in make sure you angle it in the right position slide it in first once you slide in then you can press both sides the clipper to lock it back on and finish up with the rest of the other screws now when you try to turn on the computer you might not see any display uh, or the computer doesn't turn on because you have to plug it in you have to plug in the power to turn on the computer all right i hope this video is helpful if you do find the video helpful please smash the like button and do not forget to subscribe and of course if you have any question comment below so i do reach your comments and i'll answer you through the comments thanks for watching bye now